What's the crack chief? Welcome back to another video. As you already know, this is the 100 video special. Yes, I have made 100 videos on YouTube already. Insane to think that I've done it in such a little amount of time, but it's all because of you guys. You guys make it fun for me. All your your comments on the sec in the comment section, all your shares, all your likes, it's fucking awesome. And basically, as you can see here, I have my mic. It's recording. It's recording my stuff. I have Audacity open, so the audio is perfect. And as you can see, I'm about to do the fight with Conor McGregor. Now, before I show you some cool little nukes and crannies in my room, um, I saw I wanted to kind of do this video to show you guys um, kind of why I actually decided to start my YouTube channel. Um, basically, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, and uh, I was kind of scared and I was afraid to commit to it because of I don't know, it was just myself, I was just, I was too afraid to kind of commit to it, and about four months ago, maybe three months ago now, I went through surgery, and I had to get my jaw broken, my top jaw had to be broken and brought forward, and I basically, I couldn't eat, I was out of work for six weeks, and in that space of time, I think it was the second week after my operation, I, um, I was getting really bored, I got really down, I had nothing to do with myself, so I said, you know what? I'm going to just start using PlayStation 4 to share and let's just put up loads of different shitty videos and see what happens. And I put up ERC videos with no commentary and then a game came out that I seen at E3 and I just got so, so pumped for it. I was like, yes, Firewatch came out. So I said, right, I'm going to comment on this and see how it does. I'm going to do it. I don't care if people hate it, if people do it. I'm doing it for myself. It's giving me something to do. And now that I'm back at work, it's actually such a fun thing to do. I've met... Like I've been talking to some people that are actually on that like, comment on my videos, and it's 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 great. Like the support is fantastic, and I've met people that I know for a fact. We didn't start YouTube. I wouldn't have met before. Like I met Elton, as you guys already know, he's featured on this channel a good few times. The dude is awesome, and it's it's great to kind of meet someone that's sort of like me in a way. He went through a similar, he went through a similar operation kind of to me, and it was just great to kind of have someone to relate to. And like I've done the whole college thing. I went to college. I got through two years of college but I realized college wasn't for me and I actually studied games development as well so I was learning about the background stuff of how the stuff that we do on YouTube stuff I try to do on YouTube is how they're all made and um yeah I got through two years it went well I met some cracking fellas some cracking women and it was just it was just wasn't for me guys you know and I realized that for me I'm better at playing games than I'll ever be at making them so I decided that Right, yeah, let's give you this YouTube, take a shot, see what happens. Sure, there's no, I have no time barriers, I have no limitations. I just wanted to give it a go, see how it went. It's going well, I'm really enjoying it, like I said. And as, as long as you guys are enjoying it and you just keep liking and subscribing and stuff, that's absolutely fucking fantastic and I'll keep doing it. But yeah, guys, there's just a little backstory as to why I actually decided to start YouTube. And another thing, actually, just let you all go, my name is actually Colin Stowe and uh, I'm 22 as you can see, I'm clearly Brazilian. Yeah, as you know. No, in all seriousness, I'm obviously from Ireland. And uh, yeah, and for some of you, I've actually never mentioned this in any of my videos, but if you people know me, a lot of the lads that watch this video will know me personally. But you'll all know that I have a severe obsession with Batman. I've had it since I've been a kid. I grew up with Batman, and to this day, I'm still obsessed with him. Still obsessed with him. Just to show you how obsessed with Batman I really am, there's the Joker. And then up here we have a whole comic, all the DC comics. As you can see down the right, you can see Superman, second from top, from the right. You can see Joker's face, Batman, all that stuff. There's loads of stuff to do with Batman in here, guys. Loads of stuff to do with Batman. And um, yeah, I said I'm going to show you some kind of cool things around my room. Like I said, I'm not a super fucking cool guy. I'm kind of a nerd in a way. And uh, I've got a lot of cool things that I actually think I should show you guys. I have a severe obsession with pop dolls at the moment, and um, they're really fucking cool. I just love them. I absolutely love them. And let me show you my little collection so far. Right. So here, as you can see, we have the Hulk, who, let me just show you, is a bobblehead. Yeah, he's a bobblehead. And then immediately behind him, we have the Joker, who was got, who was actually bought for me by my sister's boyfriend, which is fucking sweet. And then we have another one of my purchases, which is. Iron Man, who is also a bobblehead. Yes, you already know. There we have Captain America, also a bobblehead. And my favourite one, which is bought me by my girlfriend, which is awesome, 
from my favourite game all time. It's Arkham Knight out of the Arkham Knight guys, which is absolutely insane. I absolutely love this one. He's definitely one of my favourites. And then here we have Deathstroke from the Green Arrow series. If you guys don't know what I'm on about, you need to watch Arrow. It is unbelievable. Such a good TV show. Then behind him here, we have some Superman. As you can see there. Oh, too close. As you can see, with Superman. Right beside him, we have Jon Snow. Right beside him, we have Oliver Queen from the show Arrow. And of course, where would anyone be without a bit of blue meth and a fucking moustache? It's Heisenberg. So yeah. There's my little collection there, and I actually bought two more recently. And these two ones I bought, I've been searching for them for so, so, so long. I think it was about, I started collecting them about eight or nine months ago. And I was looking for Flash ever since, just because of the TV show. The TV show was so good, and I couldn't find Flash anywhere. Every shop went into online, couldn't find it anywhere. Then I heard of Forbidden Planet. Forbidden Planet has saved my life, because now I have this bad boy. I've got... The regular flash and I just said I can't just end it on one I can't just buy one of these so I decided to buy his closest villain the reverse flash yes boys so I have now got two more to my collection so that will make it an even 12 pop dolls I have and like I said they don't do it and they're just static figurines but they just decorate your room so awesome like I actually love them so much and I always have them in front of my desk or in front of my television when I'm gaming I just look down at them and I'm just like Man, these guys are fucking awesome. But if you were on Facebook, you would have seen that I have a prized possession. Now, again, bear with me. This is quite sad, but I genuinely don't care. I was bought, I bought this for myself. When the Arkham Knight game came out, Arkham Knight released Arkham Knight figurines. They were supposed to release season series 2, 1, series 2. I think there was a series 3, supposedly, and a series 4, maybe. I can't actually remember now. But, excuse me. There was one came out, and I was like, right, I need to get something. Because this game is just a revelation. It's so good. The sad thing about it is I completed the game in one sitting. 14 hours straight, lads, I completed the game. Not 100%, but I completed the story. That's how sad I am when it comes to Batman. But let me show you this awesome, awesome piece that I actually got after the game came out. As you can see there, there is Batman. It's a licensed Arkham Knight piece. There he is. Good old Bruce Wayne in all his glory. Looking like a badass. He's going to fuck someone up. Look at that. It's awesome. It is such a cool. And there's the grapple hook just here. Can't see my finger. There it is. There's the grapple hook. And then up here we have a batarang. Yeah man. I just absolutely love it. And I haven't touched it. It's still in the box. And it will remain in the box. Until I see fit to play with it. And I will eventually play with it. It's me. I'm a super big child. I enjoy playing with stupid shit. So yeah. Um. So yeah guys, this is just kind of, I just kind of wanted to share why I decided to start this kind of adventure, if you will, or, I don't actually know what you want to call it, I see it as an adventure because it's something new for me, I'm meeting new people, I'm doing something that's so different to what I'd usually do, so um, yeah, it is kind of an adventure for me, and the fact that you guys are enjoying and you're watching my videos, you're sharing them, it's fucking fantastic, and I'm really, really enjoying it, and I'm really happy you guys are enjoying it too, but um yeah, as you can see, I have this fight up. So once I'm done recording this, I'm going to start and I'm going to fight against McGregor. If you haven't seen the fight before McGregor, my reaction is insane. I lose my shit when I find out that I get to fight McGregor. So I'm going to record that now in a minute for you guys. That will go up before this vlog will go up. But um, yeah, so basically I just want to say a big thanks to everyone. It's awesome that people have actually kept coming back to watch my videos and like I said, I, I kind of like to stick with a series, but I have no problem kind of venturing out. Like I did a PFA team of the year recently, and I haven't done anything like that on my channel. But I know that's got a lot of views recently, so I'll happily do another one, like the worst team of the year, etc, etc, etc. I've done some collaborations with Elson, and um, done some Black Ops 3 videos on my own. So I don't know, there's a, there's a different variation of stuff on my channel, and it's, it's, it's good because I don't want it to stick to the, I don't want to be a one-trick pony, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, but listen, guys, it's been brilliant. I'm really, really, I'm definitely keeping this going. I'm having so much fun doing it. Um, so, yeah, if, if basically if you guys are enjoying it, just keep doing what you're doing. And if you guys enjoyed this little insight to what I do in regarding to how much of a nerd I am, smash that thumbs up and, uh, yeah, subscribe for more, all that good stuff.
But yeah, I've been so far. This is uh this is all just my little little collection of shit. And um yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, Chief. <laughs>